Hi everyone, welcome to SFDC Stop. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can communicate from a child component to a parent component using lightning events. First of all, let's create our child component. So I'm going to create a new LWC component and I'm going to name it as child. So this is my child component and uh, I can go to the HTML file of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a very simple lightning button. And as I click on that button, it will increment a counter. And the value of the counter will be displayed in my parent component. And that child to parent communication will happen through events. So we can simply create a lightning button here. And I can say the label is nothing but increase count. And as this button is clicked, I'm going to call a method. And the method name is increase count. Okay, it will increment a counter. That's it. Now I can go to my JS file and here we can define a variable named as count. So this is my counter whose initial value is zero and we can define the method named as increase count. This method is going to increment our counter by one and pass its value in a lightning event. Here we can say this dot dispatch event. Dispatch event method is going to fire any kind of event. Okay, any kind of JavaScript event. And inside this method, I can simply define a new custom event. So I can say new custom event and we can define the name of the event here and also the information that we want to pass in our event. So in the first parameter, I'm going to say what is the name of my event? The name of my event is let's say increase count. And in the second parameter, I can simply define an object. Inside this object, I can specify a property named as detail. The value of this detail property can be an integer, it can be a string, it can be an array or it can be an object as well. So basically it can be any value that you want to pass using your event. I'm going to define an object here. Although I just need to pass the value of my counter, so I can simply specify count here as well. But I'm going to define an object so that it's clear how we can pass an object or I can say a JavaScript object to our lightning event to the parent component. So I'm going to define a new object here. And my object is going to have a property named as message. And the value of my message will be increased count to and here I can specify the value of my counter variable so I can increment my counter and I can append it to the message string that's all for our child component let's save it and now we can move on to our parent component I can simply define a new LWC component let's name it as parent okay so this is my new LWC component and I can go to its HTML file and here I can call my child component. So what can I do? I can simply define a lightning card first of all. And let's say it is going to display the message that we are passing from our child in the card title. So what we can do, we can define a new variable named as message and that message will be displayed in the title of our card. So I'm just going to define a variable here named as message. And this message will be used in my lightning card title. So I can say title is nothing but the value of my message variable. Inside this lightning card, we can define a paragraph and we can define a class which is nothing but SLDS where P around underscore small. So I'm just giving a little bit of padding here for my lightning card body. And inside my body, I can simply call my child component. So I can say P hyphen child and this is my child component. Now what do we want here? We want to capture the event which is being fired by our child component. In order to capture the event which is fired by my child component, I can simply say on and then I can specify the name of the event. And if you see the event name is nothing but increase count. So I can say on increase count and I can bind any kind of method that I want to call when this event is fired. So let's say I'm going to define a new method here, which is known as update message. So I can say I'll call my update message method. And this update message method is going to update the value of my message variable. So that's all for our HTML. Let's save it and let's move on to the JS file. In the JS, first of all, I can define a default value for my message. And the value for message can be updated count will appear here. And apart from this, I need to define my update message method. So I can simply define a new method named as update message. This method will receive my lightning event 
or I can say my JavaScript event which is being fired to my child component. Okay. And if you remember, we have a property in this event named as detail, and that detail will give us the object. So I can simply say the value of my message is nothing but event dot detail. And this event dot detail is nothing but this particular object, right? And then we have a property named as message. So I can simply say event dot detail dot message. So this message value will come from my child component, which is this, and it will be assigned to the message variable. And the message variable value is displayed in my lightning card in the title. So let's save it. And the last thing that we can do here is I can go to my meta file and here I can specify that I want to use this component on my home page. So I can first of all expose my parent component and I can specify a target. So my target can be lightning home page. That's all. Let's save it and let's see our component in action. So this is my home page. I can simply go to edit page. And I can include my parent component here. Here I can search for parent and I can drag and drop this parent component right here. I can save it. If you are updating your home page for the first time, you will also get this activation dialog box and you can activate your home page as org default. I can simply save it and I can go back. Now, if you see, this is my parent component and I'm getting the default message from my parent component, which is nothing but updated count will appear here so this is the default message and uh, if you see this is the title of my lightning card inside my lightning card i'm calling my child component and this child component is having a button with the label as increase count so this is my button which is coming from the child component with the label as increase count now what will happen as i click on this button it will call my increase count method the increase count method in my child component will increment the value of my counter variable and pass the updated value to my parent component through an event which is known as the increase count event. Now my parent component will receive this increase count event using on increase count. On is the prefix here and increase count is the name of your event. As my parent component will receive the event, it will call this method update message. The update message method will receive the event it will get the value of message from the event detail. So if you remember, we had the event detail here and then the message. And it is going to assign the message to my message property. And this message property will be updated right here. And it will be reflected in the title of my lightning card. So initially the value of the counter was zero. And as I click on this button, it will be incremented to one. And then it will be passed to my parent. And as I click the button again and again, it will be incremented again and again. And the parent will display the latest count. Let's click this button. Now you can see my message is increase count to one. Increase count to one. I can click this again and again to increase the counter. Let's click it. Increase count to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is how you can communicate from a child component to a parent component using lightning events. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time.